right back here for round four of our Modern League. 3-0. 3-0 with our 62-card deck, Kiki Cord deck. On the die roll, we're going to play first, have some lands, a birds, and some stuff. Hands great. I've beaten two Eldrazi decks and a Lantern Control deck. It's ready to take down the world. Alright, we're gonna pay two life, play our birds. Don't want to commit to fetching anything specifically, because I don't know what I need. Carclusion Forest. Perhaps another Eldrazi strategy. But really, it could be anything. Alright, uh, I think we're just going to take that Wall of Roots into Wall of Omens line, which is pretty nice. A little hesitant to just like play our Pia next turn, because we might just get Kozilex returned, and that would suck. So I would like to avoid that if possible, but dismember on wall of roots. Ugh. That does also not make me excited to play my Pia. Uh, we do have this Rebel Arc, which is a thing. So maybe it's fine. I don't even know. Yeah, we'll just jam. Gotta put some like pressure or some get some board presence. Gotta do something. Might get K returned. Whatever. That's what the Kiki Cord life is all about. Praying my PA is good enough. Don't do it. You're doing it, aren't you? You're doing it. Ugh, gross. Um, yeah, we'll just not crack our land. Draw a card, play our fetch land, so go. Let's hope, hope we don't get Thought Not Seared. Oh god, we're getting Thought Not Seared. It's all falling apart. This is what they warned me about. Alright, Arresto is not bad. <laughs> Losing Rebel Arc definitely sucks, though. Really powerful card, especially with this Arresto we just drew. Jeez, Reality Smasher? Hmm. A whale? Guess we're just going to take our block here, flicker with Resto, see if we are fortunate enough to draw a Path Exile. Also have the option of... Excuse me. So we can decide whether we want to crack our Windswept... Oh, gosh. Sorry. If we want to crack our Windswept Teeth or not. Uh, we do have an herb work, or excuse me, our opponent has an herb work, so we have access to mana from that. So we probably don't want to just like take damage, and then we can decide if we like draw a path or whatever. We can then crack this for a planes if we need to. So come on, something. That's not something. Come on, deck. Uh, attack for three. My deck was treating me so well. Now this happens. Mean old Eldrazi just kills all my things, then plays giant Eldritors. Uh, we'll double block the Reality Smasher. That's a little bit better than chumping. Saves us an extra point on the trample. Go to six.
We still do have the option of just instantly killing our opponent, though. If we draw a cord or a kiki jiki, they're just dead. Just dead. Until, what is this nonsense? Reality, or er, endless one. All right, I'm gonna thin my deck. Feeling good about it, I'm gonna thin my deck, draw a cord, kill my opponent. It's not what happened. Oh well. Uh, play this pride mage. Set up a little duplay block on this reality smasher. Jump this endless one. Go to one. It's a fail proof plan. Nothing could go wrong. My board will be just a Kasali Pride Mage. Probably not enough to handle two giant monsters and four cards in hand, but again, it's good good to have goals. So you're saying I'm dead. That's what you're saying. Alright, I'm dead. Alright. Game two. Bring in all the nonsense that I've been bringing in. Probably not bringing those helixes. Still haven't decided. Don't want the lone missionary. Don't want the voices. Maybe I can board out a Pia against the K return deck. Seems like that would make some kind of sense. Board out this Pontiff. I always get confused because I feel like I have to board out three cards, but I have to board out one because we're playing 62. Yeah. All right, board out helix. You just. Perfect math of my one helix, one voice resurgence, one Pia deck. It's got to be right. All jokes aside, though, this deck has been performing much better than I expected it to. I've been drawing a lot of Birds of Paradises, which I'm sure is a big factor, but yeah, just really powerful mid-range cards with a bunch of utility and versatility is still something that you can do in Magic that is quite good. Uh, this hand's a little weak, but I think it is a keep. We have a Helix to buy some time, we got a Wall of Omens, Dig Deeper, a Witness, Rusto, a decent little curve as long as we can draw some lands. Probably gonna go ahead and crack for red white because I'm going to have a play on turn two regardless. Uh, normally, because I'm interested in drawing lands, I might consider um, not cracking my land, but we're gonna play wall lands. Although I'm actually probably supposed to get uh, red green, not red white. Thought not seer is coming. All right, pay two life. Draw me a card. Oh, foam air mage. It's actually gonna be pretty good. I think our opponent's draw is a little bit slower. You have to expose their eye and play like a... Oh, nice. And... We drew a Revel Arc. This is, this is an old school combo, ladies and gentlemen. Bust that up. That's not a double land. Ah. It's not letting me have any fun. Uh, we're going to play our Witness and leave up Path Mana. Say go. If our opponent Thought Not Sears us, we will path it with the trigger on the stack. Then play some nonsense next turn. Another Eye of Ugin. It just never works. Ugh. All right, I'll, I'll zap that too. 
think I'm going to discard my Pia and just set up my Rebel Arc, which is kind of funny. Gonna get thought on it this turn, so we're not going to. Presumably, we're probably not gonna be able to revel arc anything back, uh, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Another reality smasher. Maybe our opponent will play that. <laughs> Tough to say. If they wait another turn on their Thought Knots here, there's definitely the possibility that it's going to be dead. Looks like, okay, Reality Smasher. Oh, no, they can still cast it this turn. Wow. Uh, I do have the option of Restoing the Witness and Double Blocking the Reality Smasher. And then I have to contend with Thought not Seer. I could pick up my path. Presumably my opponent will take my Rebel Lurk because it is very powerful. So, tough to say. I guess first things first, we'll see if this even works because they could just go ahead and dismember my Eternal Witness. All right, that worked. Pick up this path. So if we go to 12, we could also just absorb a hit with Wall of Omens, which also sets up our Rebel Arc. And we can race pretty effectively with this Lightning Helix, so I think I like this better. There's the big bad TKS. Rebel Arc down, probably. The uppers. All right. Uh, I think I want to go ahead and path this Thought Knots here. Let's me get more aggressive, and I might draw a relevant spell, which could put us way out in front. It did not draw a relevant spell. Man. All right. 13 lives. Lightning Helix in hand. Our opponent is one land off of activating Eye of Ugin. It's not looking good. Eleven lives. I definitely think that this version of Eldrazi is going to be the hardest for this Kiki Cord deck. Just Kozlek's Return is a huge pain, and P and Karen Alar is not nearly as effective as it is in the other matchups. They have a bunch of ways to kill your mana creatures. Even Worldbreaker is kind of annoying, just because like Restoration Angel is pretty legit, just in terms of clocking them. Throw a Helix at your face. Hopefully, draw something relevant next turn. If we don't, we're in trouble. Ugh. God. Take it back, doesn't matter, we're still in trouble. Crack this, draw something, huh, huh. What does that do? So we can get a big game hunter. It's unclear whether that's good. See one two. So next turn, one two three four five. We actually do have Kiki, which is lethal. Nine fourteen. And they have exactly ah oh, crap. Huh. Oh, I got it. Okay, so we can block. Can block the Thought Nuts here with our Witness. 
Court for three. Get another witness. Get back our court. And then we play a land. Untap court for five. And then we got him. Maybe. We'll see what happens, but I think I found the line. Don't think BGHing our opponent is a winning strategy in the long term against Ibu again in this huge board position. So we kind of need our opponent to not have really anything. That would be ideal. Just don't have anything. All right, let me make sure I, I got this. All right, so yeah, cord for three. Witness in play. Three by cord. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Block that guy. Cord. Get Eternal Witness. Target Court of Calling. Pray our opponent has nothing. Amusingly, if we draw the Kiki Jiki, we will die. <laughs> Don't have anything. Just need you to have a whole lot of nothing. Give us a game three. Two cards in hand. Could be anything. Except for Reality Smasher. Or probably a World Breaker. Or a Thought Not Seer, because they would just cast that, unless our opponent is a cruel, sadistic human being that wants to let me sit here and talk to you guys about how I feel like I have a chance, and I don't. What is this? Oh god. Blasphemous act. Jeez. Okay. Alright. <laughs> the show must go on. <laughs> the Kiki Kiki was on top of my deck. I would have lost. That is hilarious and kind of sad. Uh, all right, <laughs> we're back on the big game hunter plan, I guess. <laughs> wow, I, I that's kind of insane. GHU, one, two, three, four, five, so one, still one mana off of uh, buying this turn, so if our opponent bricks, maybe we're in okay shape. Jeez, okay. Um, kind of need a cheat sheet, I don't really know what's going on. I think I just want to leave up court for four, because then I can like resto my opponent's thing. What is this? Three, four, five, six, yeah, okay. What is this nonsense? Are they dismembering my BGH? Oh yeah, that is a thing you can do, isn't it? Hmm, could be an issue. So five mana? We're not going to have a red source in play anymore. All right. Break it off. We're going to float a mana. Okay. That resolves. Opponent's going to pass priority. We're going to cord for resto. All right. Let's see. Uh, scavengers is not bad. That thing will get real huge real fast. So that's probably going to be our next choice. Also have Shriek Maw, which I don't think is going to be a thing. Both our eternal witnesses are gone. 
Yeah, I think scavenging news is going to be the next thing, unless we just get another resto. But we can attack. Let's see. So if we attack for three, we can still leave up cord for another resto and BGH again. I think that's a little bit better than dealing the extra point of damage. Put our opponent to six, then I feel that the scavenger use is still going to be lethal. So, Also, two restos will be lethal regardless. So I think this is better. <laughs> kind of an insane game. Should have just said go, we we're going to draw the Kiki. Would have lost. Just another huge creep. Oh, Blasphemous Act. Man. Uh, yeah, scavenging you still kills you. Dope. X is two. Who's it up? Oh, I guess I probably could have corded for ooze and eaten my opponent's world breaker that was probably a thing whoops who knows um so they have blasphemous act <laughs> and kozilek's return does that change anything unclear Sin Collector actually seems pretty good. <laughs> Probably should be doing that. Voice might be fine too. Pia might just stink. Just like too much resistance. Um, Fulminator Mage on the draw seems a little sketchy, but it's still probably good against just the World Breaker deck in general. Still think Baleth is sketchy but fine. Maybe the Helix is just no good. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Dramatic game three. Lands bird, keeping it. I've said turn one birds so many times. This deck is great when it has turn one birds every hand. I really feel like I probably want like a noble hierarch or two or something. Wall roots is really good too, especially like the wall roots and a wall of omens curve, but they're also just excellent with cord in general. Alright, brace for impact. Do I want to play around turn two Thought Nuns here and leave up Dismember? I think I actually do. Although I guess if we play birds, they... No, 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 because then if they just take our Dismember, we just BGH it. Yeah, all right. Change my mind. Change my mind. Okay. Um, we can just play our wall and play our raging ravine. Duresto, which is super nice with our witness and BGH. Opponent might just have to take big game hunter. It's gonna get a little out of hand there. Okay. Well. That's cool too. So we will fetch for Overgrown Tomb, pay some life, smack that thing. The 
conspicuous attack with Matter Reshaper when they didn't attack on the previous turn. Hmm, what could it mean? Getting K returned here would suck, so I'm not going to block. I don't actually... I just don't want to incentivize my opponent into K returning here. It's less likely they will do it if I do not block. Um, definitely attacking for one. Need to decide whether it's more important that I leave up Resto or build my board with this Wall of Romans. Excuse me, Wall of Omens. I think it's more important to leave up Resto. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the fetch land pass. I will block this turn because then if my opponent Koslex returns, I will just rest in my wall of omens, draw a card, keep my wall of omens. I'll lose these two, but I still have a bunch of answers to big things, so it's not too big of a deal. Let's go. Um, interesting. All right, I'm gonna play Resto. I don't want to just lose all my mana this turn. So if my opponent wants to K return and kill my Wall of Omens, sure, fine. I just want to get a clock into play. Hand is pretty good. Another talisman. Two, three, four, five, six. Can technically break me off next turn. Oh, and a dismember? Sure. Okay. Um. What does that do? I think it's actually pretty good. Definitely keeps my opponent off World Breaker, which is something I do not want them to play against me this turn. If I get TK'd, annoying but not a big deal, that's totally fine. Okay, yeah, let's, let's see what's up. Hit another Coslix return. Wow. All right, Reality Smasher in hand. Opponent drew the land. We're gonna go ahead and path this endless one. I don't want to discard any of the cards in my hand. They're all very good. And I think I just want to take my chump, preserve my life total a little bit. Uh, so I can witness BGH attack for two, seems pretty good. And then my opponent will be at 12, I'll have five power in play plus a rage intervene, they'll have nothing. Okay. Thank you for the Urborg, allowing me to play this double black card when it's previously impossible. So, yeah. I will use that ability. Black, black, black. I will, yep, do that. Thank you. Land is no good. Ghost quarter, huh? I think I am interested in. Let's see. 
So what can I keep my opponent off of? Three, four, five, six. They probably three, four, five, six. No, I think I just want to hold this. They probably have another basic land anyways, and then they will world breaker me. So, yeah. All right, we won. 4-0.